All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B coming to you guys on, well, today's Wednesday when the Yeezys drop, so technically Yeezy season with yet another video and today as of right now i'm actually trying to get my size online i actually got my girl size yesterday and when i get in the car i'm gonna tell you more about that story or i may just talk about it right now so basically i lied to my girlfriend and i told her that i bought my own size and i had just bought this chocolate 750s and she really wants to pirate blacks so when i went up to get my size yesterday I didn't have my size so i got her size lied to her and told her that i got my size and um so she's like she's she's a little she's a little salty she thinks i bought another pair of yeezys on top of the whatever i already got so i'm going to surprise her today with a pair uh, i'm not sure when i'm going to be able to get that on camera just because uh she's at work at the moment and i don't know what time she's going to be able to get back so it may be later on tonight so i may post this on tomorrow or may post a separate video of me surprising her um but we will see i gotta make sure she doesn't watch this video though because she does watch my videos and if she watches it it's gonna spoil the whole thing so i just gotta kind of make sure she doesn't see this video so since i was being a good boyfriend and getting my girl a pair now i'm the one <laughs> trying to find myself a pair and of course the regular suspects you guys can see on my tv uh champs is just basically dead if i go through a few more of my pages the yeezys on was this ease bay are still just basically loading yeezy loading um i have my links up foot action just stuck you know basically like whatever site you're trying is dying and that's kind of usually what happens when you're trying to buy yeezys it's just the the beautiful nature of uh the, the yeezy season that's just what happens every people are taking l's some people are gonna get some delayed w's it's just gonna be cold it's gonna be cold out there for the yeezys bro with the yeezys people will change they change your whole mindset changes your fam isn't your fam anymore they're now your seller that's how Yeezys affect people. And one of the things I really hate about trying to buy Yeezys online is that it's just time consuming. Right now it's 1024, but we all know how the Grand Gum release went. We all know how the uh, Chocolate and Gum release went. These shoes, we were waiting on them, waiting on them. You sit on these pages and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. And, you're waiting. and depending on who you are, you may not have that time. And I can completely understand that. I might sit here on the computer for an hour, two hours, three hours, constantly having this thing refreshing and to no avail, then I just take the delay L, <laughs> basically, it tells me that it's sold out. So I just sat here for an hour, two hours, three hours for no reason and I feel like that's probably the worst part about trying to get Yeezys online is that if you don't have a bot, if you're not moving with somebody to add the card or some slots or whatever the case may be, you can sit here and waste a lot of fucking time and I feel like that's one of the worst things about it. Second random, random little excerpt of this video. I guess Vlown is the new meme of the channel. <laughs> Basically after I posted my video on knees, and since I didn't say feel like saying V loan every fucking time I meant to say Vlown, I was just like Vlown. And people were like triggered off that shit. Like they were like, bro, it's V loan. Not Vlown. Not Vlown. It's V loan. I cringed when you said Vlown. Nigga, half of y'all motherfuckers that said that shit don't even own a piece. <laughs> Of that overpriced shit. <laughs> like, come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's be real here. Let's be real. Half of y'all niggas that commented about the name or what I said about it or how what how I pronounce the name don't own the shit. I gotta clap back sometimes. I'm a nice guy on here, but sometimes I gotta clap back. Just a slight bit. I still love y'all though. I still love y'all, but y'all gotta fucking relax. <laughs> relax. D loan blown. None of them niggas is paying y'all. Relax. Well, guys, we sat here for an hour and 20 minutes trying to get these Yeezys, and you guys can peep this right here. Peep this nice little message. Let me just zoom a little bit. There you go. Yeezy sold out. Appreciate Adidas. Thank you, Kanye. You know what I'm saying? I actually do hope you get better, man. Hope you, hope you figure out whatever's going on with you. TV's off, everything's off. It is now time to actually make that move. Go get these Yeezys and 
I finally have a box in for the new sample drop for Essentials V2. So we're gonna get into that today too, just kind of like a sneak peek because I'm gonna show it more in depth in another video. And remember, I still am gonna do a, do a house tour, but like right now, I mean, I'm sitting on inflatable chairs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't have a couch yet, nor do I have a TV. Uh, our TV is down here on top of a Cox Contour box, a subwoofer. So uh, yeah, we went for that really minimal feel with the entertainment system, you know what I'm saying? Really, really minimal, you know what I'm saying? Real suave. So let me get in this car, let's go get the Yeezys, let's go get this box, I need to run by the post office because there's another package in there for me, and yeah, so let's go. And also, before somebody slick trying to say something about that rejection sticker, it's because I got a hole in my tire from a fucking nail. My car runs fine. Thank you. Ooh, I got a thing for the yachts too. You still got the dealer phone number? Yeah, I got you. Spot you real quick like a weightlift. Magician with it, nigga, I can shape shit. Dog call said he need about eight minutes. Damn, that was quick. Homie, don't waste not a second. You disrespect, he gon' get you chased out of Texas. So watch your tone and don't ask a lot of questions. And real quick before we keep moving on this vlog, yo, shouts out to my dude Oscar for this pack right here. When we get back, I'm gonna open it, you gonna see, but just trust me. Without him, these will not be possible. And these joints right here, y'all see, y'all see. Don't lose this plug like a Wi-Fi connection. I'm a copper acre out in Cancun with big Jeep wagons in the sand dunes. Yeah, I'ma start my selection. If you were smart, you guard your connection. Like some boppers trying to top us, nigga. Stop each other's line, name them starters, trapping daily, place your order. Chuck it, Mike, they got them black mags. I ride around with black mags. All right, y'all, we're here. I'm about to run in real quick and grab my shoes because I can't record in the store, of course. And uh, I'm gonna see if anyone maybe had some weird leftover pairs, see if I can get myself a pair. But like I said, I got my girl some because I already bought four pairs of the things. So, uh, yeah. A few moments later. All right, y'all, so I actually just got my pair right here. And um, that's probably the easiest, like, in and out pickup I've probably done. Um, not bad customer service either. <laughs> which was surprising. All right, y'all, so we are back now. I was trying to beat my girlfriend back home to see if I could surprise her with these joints now, but she's not here. So what I'm gonna do is, first off, your boy's hungry, so I had to run by Food Line and grab like a DiGiorno pizza real quick, and then I had some other food in my fridge I'm eating already. And we do have a few things right here. We have a bag right here with some very important stuff in it. Of course, the 350s, and this right here, we're gonna get to this in a second. I'm still cleaning up, as you guys can see. It's still kind of a mess in here. Um, it's coming along though, it's coming along. So let me go ahead, let me get some food, because your boy is hungry, and once we get done with that, then we're gonna get into those boxes back there. So just, so just bear with me for a second. We are back, and I finally got some time to go ahead and get into what we got. I'm gonna save these bad boys for last, and we're gonna get into these two first. So first off, Yo, gotta say big shouts out to my dude Oscar for the assist on these. I mean, online, like this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff, the stuff that you actually want. Like what he dropped before, I don't know what was going on. So this pack right here, we got some of the Travis Scott Hood Toyota merch. Um, I got two shirts and a sticker in this bad boy and I wish I could have got my size in these because it would have gone pretty much perfectly with this tee. So let me just go ahead and tear this bag right open. This was, I think there was a few pop-up shops and there was one in Houston. New York and LA if I'm not mistaken. This was actually the product sheet. My man lives in New York So this was the actual hood Toyota product sheet right here like the merch sheet and um, you, I guess you just circled it and gave it to them So I needed two of the birds tees. I wasn't really a big fan of anything else I mean, I like some of the other tees, but the main thing I really wanted was these two tees and a sticker as you guys can see on this sheet um, The denim jacket was dope. 
just too expensive and the hoodie was dope but I mean uh, I mean I just didn't really need it so I, I didn't copy I mean I can say that for a lot of things honestly this is the sticker right here um, got your eagle kind of an airbrush feel to it I just really really fuck with the colors on this this like pink sunburst color is really dope I, I just really like what they did with the colorway on this these shirts were 45 each and then the sticker was five bucks that I overpaid probably from what they paid for it yeah it, I probably did but I mean yeah it is what it is. So the tagging on this, I'm not sure what kind of t-shirt this is because there is no tag, not a Comfort Colors tag, not like a Ripaway Gildan tag or a Code 5 tag or nothing like that. So I'm not really sure where they got these made. But it does say Travis Scott on the inside with that Birds kind of font with the misplaced letters. On the front, I think it just says Travis Scott. Oh no, it just says Birds and like the uh, newspaper clippings. And then the back is what I really like. This is the graphic on the back. It's the same graphic on the sticker. Um, it has the bald eagle on the back with that sunburst feel. Now this is the black colorway and I think the colors look really good on this one. But if you were in Houston and you got that orange one, that's like the best tee you can get. It has like this matching sunburst orange color and that tee was fire. So this is the first tee I got right here. And then I just doubled up on it. So I got the white one as well. Once again, just has birds on the front, nothing too crazy. And then the back is the same overall graphic. But with that white, it even popped. Cool, it was clean, almost like an airbrush feel. And like I said, man, if there's anyone in Houston that has an extra large, um, just sitting around and they want to help out one, the number one Travis Scott stand on YouTube uh, <laughs> with that uh, retail hookup, let me know, man. Email me, because that orange joint from Houston is has to be the best colorway. The next box we got right here is actually some of the new stuff from Sample Industries. This is gonna be from our Black Friday drop. Uh, we've been waiting on some of the stuff to hit our doorstep so we can take a few pictures. So I wanna go ahead and get into this with you guys. And matter of fact, I wanna stand up to do this so it's just easier for you to show. So let me switch up the setup. So the first one that's on the top is this green joint. Now this is one of the Essentials V2. You guys know that last year we dropped the Essentials version one. That went crazy. The satin bombers, the reverse Terry Fleece hoodies, um, and the reverse Terry Fleece tees. That went crazy, sold out. Then we held a pre-order for it so people could get it. Still went crazy. Now they're all gone. There's actually a few pieces that just popped up. I think some extras in the warehouse just popped up on the site. But this right here is the new Essentials V2 bomber. This one is a 100% nylon. It's like a different feel. Um, it has that shine to it, but it is not satin. We use white zippers on it all over. Kind of got your aviator type pockets on the side with the flat with the button. Your standard MA1 bomber pocket, but this time we got these made like a hang tag. Says sample on it in white it's a little bit blown out here but trust me on the sample ig at smplind by the way we got pictures up there you guys know us and we like to do special tags on all of our collections so this right here says sample essentials aw 2016 um we like to have the year on it so those who know about the brand who've known about the brand for years um pull out an older piece and be like yo i've been with them since like 2016 or i've been with them for 20 since 2015 however they want to do it we did not throw anything on the back of these and we kept the sample logoing um and the tagging very minimal on these just because last year uh, we threw sample on the sheath on the front and this year we did another sheath but since this is version 2 it's more of a half a sheath as you guys can see and it does say V2 embroidered on all the bombers it's a safety orange on the inside like a safety orange polyester there is a little bit of foam in here so it's like a midway jacket so this is what the extra large looks like on me this is the size I usually wear it is an XL fits comfortably over my hoodie doesn't feel weird doesn't feel bulky doesn't feel weird underneath my armpits or like tight or nothing like that so people were asking me, yo, where can I get some essentials? I'm looking for some decently priced bombers. The bomber's gonna be in like a 60 to 70 range. And then the Sherpa hoodies, I don't know if I have one of those in here, but those are gonna be a little bit more expensive because they cost even more to make than the bomber. Um, and then the tees are probably gonna be around the $20 mark. You know what I'm saying? And then the tees will be around the $20 mark. We wanted to keep them really simple, real easy, and something that everybody can easily grab if they really need it. Like I said, these are real clean, real simple shirts. We just wanted it to be something not too intrusive, something that you guys can throw on with just about anything. And all the tees are really monochromatic. This one's all black. 
just says sample on the front and we just went ahead and made it sure that was a glossy ink so it's all black you can see sample is there but it's not too intrusive it's not too loud and this is how all the tees are really clean really simple easy to wear now this one is the all over red one next up we have like this heather gray joint and the letters really really blend into the heather gray it's even hard to see kind of on the camera so that's the all gray joint right here we have our burgundy tee which to me is more of a brick red tee sample on the front right here we have our safety and or hazard orange the colors are getting thrown off a bit just because i have my soft box lights right here so it's looking a little bit blown out but you guys will see that we have a hoodie a sherpa hoodie and a bomber to go with that one this one's the off white and cream joint now the letters on this are white it's kind of hard to see like I said let me go ahead and just dim this down a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like but yeah the letters on this one are white so it's a little bit more different in the color uh, but like I said man it's not too much not too much at all and then last up we have the olive green tee right here and all the tagging across all items does carry the sample essentials tagging so everything has that feel to it sample essentials aw 2016 official tissue everything and i haven't even i mean some of my favorite things are the sherpa one of my favorite colors is our new like cigar like brown tobacco brown color jacket we have so this isn't even all of it all i'm letting you guys know is if you want to be on it at smplind so right here we have the hype beast lightweight world champion the yeezy boost 350 and this one is definitely a lightweight size seven and a half and like i said it's my girl's pair she hasn't gotten back yet so i'll probably have to do that little surprise video later or i'll try to figure out some way to do it because i do want to drop this video tonight 350 box you guys already know what it is and she shouldn't care if i throw her box because first off i fucking bought the things she does like green, but I felt like she would probably rock these a little bit more because they're a little bit more simple. This is like the black and what they call red, but to me it's almost like an infrared, almost like a pink. The official color of it is on the other part of the box that I threw. So the official colorway is red, and this is this is not regular red, dog. Like it says it on the box, but trust me, it's not regular red. So these right here are the ones I decided to grab her. Now her favorite color is green. Um, but I didn't know she would really like the shade of green that was on that specific kick. So I went ahead and got these. I thought she would get a lot more wear out of these. And I feel like a lot of people are going to get a lot more wear out of these just because they're black. I feel like these were way, 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 way widely available. Like they were everywhere. And I've seen people getting like multiple pairs on like the Foot Locker app, doing the reservations and a lot. So I'm just letting you guys know there's people that came up for real cheap out here. So before you go ahead and drop mad money on these, just understand that just understand that that i feel like there was a lot more of these colorways of yeezys than any of the ones before maybe i'm wrong but just from the volume of people that i see on like social media saying that they got them there was a lot of l's that adidas handed out but there was also a lot of w's that i seen a lot of people getting even all three pairs so you know me good guy good guy christian went ahead and got his girl a pair and like i said if she gets back here ooh, soon enough i can throw it in at the end of this video when i give them to her um, but we will see Oh, I got a thing for the yachts too. You still got the dealer phone number? Yeah, I got you.